propane. Hey, everybody, what's up? How y'all doing? You got me all discombobulated. Discombobulated. You gotta turn off the. Is that good? Yeah, we'll bring Molly in right here. Yeah, hey, everybody. What's good morning, going on? Alicia. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Mass Gas yeah. Talk Radio Show. We're about to get it cranking in just a second. Uh, I guess I closed the door. You know who Mo is, she's late. Oh, uh, yeah, let me do this right now. Okay, well, what are we doing right now? Okay, Ray G. Yeah. Uh, when is business closing here? Yeah, the advertisers in there. I, I just left everything the same. Okay. Apparently, I misunderstood it. No, 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 this is fine. Uh, because did I hear you know? Yes, I did. Because I had to It was those are the three. And B. Marcel Beauty is the only one we have instructions for, and I will do them. Who are the segment leads? Mo and Reggie. Okay, Reggie, you're going to take Six Stars of Serenity. Like that. Just read the information off the business card and what you remember about their business. And I may just make most do somebody else's part. I don't think I want to do a business card. Okay, that's not a surprise. Luther today. All our music today is Luther Vandross. We got Big Luther. We got Little Luther. We got In Between Luther. So what's your favorite Luther? All the Luthers. Yeah, I like Big Luther though. All the Luthers. Oh, no. Big Luther is better. That's just my opinion. It's, it's like he was he was fed and full and he was he was really singing. Yes. And when then, he was he was little, it was like he was angry. He wasn't really happy. He was angry. Yeah. He was angry. He wasn't really happy. It, it's it's a different like it's a different tone when Luther is big and he was happy. He knew he was being happy. Yeah, he had that happy. <laughs> you can hear it. No, seriously though, you can hear it in his voice. Oh shit, bro! Damn thing, I'm gonna open. And I need, I need a banana in my life. Where is this knife been? Actually, it gets cleaned every day. <laughs> That's horrible. Like really horrible. Oh, you gonna have to clean it after that. Uh, it's surgical steel, so yes, it gets cleaned every day. Okay. It's like you, you know, part of my routine. You go home, you pull Since out. Since I couldn't quality. have a egg and cheese sausage biscuit from McDonald's like you did, and he did it here. Two. Two. Absolutely, two of them. So good too. Standing by y'all, so y'all get ready. We finna go live here in a minute. Oh, 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 my back. Yeah, just hold on to that. What's going on with your back? It's on your back. You need your back cracked. I do. I need it twisted, bent, stretched. You're not going to a chiropractor? No, 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 no. And I hadn't been hanging on my everyday Inversion table lately, so. Inversion table? Yes. That sounds sexual. Yeah, look. Sometimes I lay on it and I go, hmm. <laughs> are you serious? Gotta laugh at myself. Be like, hmm, 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 hmm. You are live. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Oh, good what's morning. up? Hold up. She's coming in dancing. Hey. Is that my song? Uh -oh, uh -oh. Good morning, Mo. Uh -huh. Good morning. Welcome to the Max Gas Talk Radio Show. This is your boy Q, and I have the entire MTG crew here with me it's on always. time it's today. No. Close enough. Close, can, enough. Can, Close can, enough. It is so good to see everybody on today again. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining the show on today on last week. As you do know, we're at the Texas International Hair and Trade Show. Yeah. And oh, yes. it was the bomb. And we're going to talk about that in just a few seconds. But first, the MTG crew is here with me. I want them to say hello to you. Mo Swag, say hello to the people. Hello to the people. You know what? <laughs> Hendrix, what's going on, man? I'm, I'm still over here shook on Mo. She got her legs out today. She, really, she, got, on her, she got on her shout shouts today. He said, what did you tell me? I told her to wear shorts or summer wear. And that's exactly what she did. Oh, okay. 
She did. Well, but why am I the only one she over here? No, I got, I got on, I got on sweats and a t-shirt. That's somewhere. Oh, she okay. over here. And beaming. sunshine, you know, you all, she always wears some secrets. She. Oh my. Look. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's somewhere, but I'm gonna go with it. Miss Sunshine, tell the people hello. Good morning, hello. So let's go ahead and get started with the show again. If you guys want to call in, two one four seven one seven four eight two seven is Ooh. our side B hotline number. Also, make sure that you follow us right here on the Apple Party Radio www.theappleartyradio.com. We're on side B. Also, make sure you follow Master Gas on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. Uh, Instagram, Periscope. now Periscope as well, and YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. YouTube. Hey, Kendrick, you want to say hello? Because, you know, I you did. just like skipped right over. Did I skip over? No, I, I, just, I just said, you know, I was still on most. So oh, I was, trying to, I was okay. discombobulated. YouTube. Oh, yeah, because I was saying, I know I said something. YouTube. Uh, you're just really coming for me today. What is, <laughs> what is going on? I'm still trying to figure out why you eating this banana upside you down. Know why. You know why. That is. Because you, if you can't open it, well, actually, from the bottom is where you're supposed to open it from. Ah. But it's not where we generally open it I'm from. just going to tell you, I didn't know there was a top or a bottom to a banana. Yeah, you me just either. eat it. I just I thought you were hoping that you eat it. I know the top so, or a bottom. So why are you oh, concentrating? Yeah, this is, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. I've never seen no, actually, it Actually, I'll get it right. Look it up on YouTube, I'm sure. Anyway, we're going to move on with the show real quick. YouTube is not too Let, let's, let's go ahead and talk about our poll question number one and number two. Let's go ahead and get that out the way, because these poll questions this week was kind of crazy. Yes. And they was kind of thrown off. And yes. I think maybe I was thrown off and putting them out there. You think? You think? A tad maybe. bit. Just tad a bit. bit. A smidget. Boy, you put the T in Tad. This right here. <laughs> I was like, what is he doing? What? I was like, this is pole, pole week. Yeah. Like you were posting for the Democratic National Committee or something. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you were playing with polls out there. I'm playing with it. I was like, Woo. You know, people like our poll questions. You yeah, know? They yeah. really do like our poll questions, yeah. and, they, and they respond to them. Yeah, so. I, I, I was actually surprised at, at the at the poll questions and. The well, results. The answers, well, the answers. Yeah, the answers. Yeah. yeah, let me let me let me be straight with it. I was surprised at the answers on some me of the poll questions. So. Me too. So let's 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 dig into it. From the desk of Q, that's me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, and, you know, you never here on time, so I always <laughs> say that. I'm just saying that's cute. Who else is cute? And that's Miss Sunshine. I'm Mo, and this is Hendrix. Who the hell else would be cute? <laughs> Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. In your opinion, am I right? Okay. Uh-huh. Which situation is worse? Yeah. Bad sex more than once, or being sprung by your ex? Fifty-two percent says bad sex more than once. Forty-eight percent says being sprung by your ex. Now, is bad sex more than once with the same person? Well, I mean, what? Because you can't have made? bad sex. You can have bad sex with, with the same not, person more not, than once. More than once. Not, yeah. if, not if you're involved. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why the hell he, how would you have bad sex if you're involved. Now, the first time, maybe you didn't get to know each other or something, but the second, third, fourth, fifth, twenty sixth, century, seventh, 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 how the hell is it bad if you're involved? You make it good. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all young folk is so cute. You can't yeah. say anything? No, it's in my purse. Okay. Be good. Be so good. so, good. okay. So so, you saying you, you shouldn't have bad sex with, with the same person more than once? You can't. Say. So that first, so that first time you just, you know, you charge it to the game. You charge it to the game. But if you charge it to the game, you don't think that that person should have a second mm-hmm. chance? I'm just, just asking. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I, if you're gonna have sex with that person more than once, then it can't be bad. Yeah. Okay. So after sunshine. the second time, then there's no more excuses. Yeah. I don't know. I, I agree with that. And just be like, you know what? I got to remove myself from this situation. No, you don't remove yourself from the situation. Obviously, it's because, me, not you. Because, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. You don't have bad sex. Let me write a book on how to have good sex. Because evidently. You're going to have, you, would you write a book on how to have good sex? Yes. What would be your first chapter called? You know, sex is all in the mind. But that don't work for everybody. Well, it yes, it do. No, you're right. You're yeah. absolutely right. Whether it's a quick or you making love. Right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's all in the mind. So, so 
See, more people say that bad sex more than once mm. is worse than being sprung by your ex. I disagree. I have. I disagree. Because you're sprung agree. by your ex is an ex, and you being sprung, you can't get that no more because it's your ex. Who said you couldn't get no more just because? It's your ex. No, it, that's not it true. That's not true. I had sex plenty a couple of my exes, and I was What's sprung. What's your definition though. of ex? What the hell is ex? You know There's what something ex- wrong with, with revisiting sometime. Okay, okay. I mean, like if you don't, if they're not with anybody, you're not with anybody. Y'all just want to go on and hook up, type deal, whatever. It's you know what they're comfortable. Ex. Their exes are exes for a reason. Because I ex like them. I ex don't talk to them. I ex hate. Well, that's them. not all your exes. Oh, yes, baby. I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh. Uh-uh, no. See, you're an ex, and that means that ex don't talk to you no more. Mm. Okay, mm. I'm with that. I exactly don't talk to you no more. That's why you're an ex. I mean, Mo, I agree with you. Okay, I was finna say something. I ain't having sex with no ex. I'm gonna keep having good sex. Next poll question. From the desk of Q. That's me again. A listener asked, this actually came to me. A listener asked, is public sex a fetish appropriate at any time? Feel free to comment below. 46% says, yes, it could be a turn on. 54% says, no, keep it private. Now, Miss Sunshine had a comment. She says, of course, it's inappropriate at any time, but that's what makes it so great. Because <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not appropriate. So, see, that's where I was like, that, that question kind of negates itself. Because, no, it's not appropriate. But, but, okay. but dang. Well, see, but that's, it, <laughs> see, that's in your mind of it not being appropriate. You know how many people like public sex and think it's okay to have public sex? I mean, they got new beaches. I mean, that's okay, but new beaches, new beaches are new beaches not having sex. Okay, so you, wait a minute. Hold on. So you mean tell me at the new beach these people not having sex and they new? Yeah, but new no, beach is private. Have you ever been to a new beach? No, I ain't never been to a new beach. You've never been to a new beach. All it is is nude people walking around, yeah, playing in the sun, they, playing in the water. Right, they ain't yeah. having they sex. Have sex. They ain't having now, sex. you want to go to hedonism? Who? Okay. Oh yeah, he needs them. when everybody is having sex and orgy. That's a difference. But nude beaches, uh, you just Look, got people who are not. About the best thing about nude beaches is people are not. They don't have the body perfect. Conscious. Yeah, they're not body conscious. They don't have the perfect body, so you just feel free. Plus, you get a tan all over. How skinny, and plus, how you don't big. have to worry about it. You ain't got stuff in your stomach or nothing because you mm-hmm. got other people. Fat everybody in. hanging out. That's why I love Europe because I'd be like, oh, you, your body worse than mine. Hallelujah. So, so wait a minute. Hold on. So you mean tell me it don't get dark at the new beach? If Nothing goes on at the new beach. If it Everybody does, just it goes on somewhere where you, you know what? It doesn't. Well, I mean, I'm I'm sure about that, but I'm just saying like but there are yeah. places designated for you to, you know, well, I no, guess that, no that's okay. That's place designated for you to to be yourself and have hell it hang all out. Right. But, but but there are some people that you know get into public sex. I mean, it's just uh, yes. Yeah. But it's yes. not appropriate. <clears throat> I guess. Well, I mean, you know, 46, 46 uh, percent people feel that um, like said, it's appropriate. You, no, no, they don't think it's appropriate, but they think it's enjoyable. Cause yes, it's a turn on. Look, look, yes. Maybe they having sex with their exes. Hell, I don't know. Yes, public sex with your ex. Public sex. That's what <laughs> That's you said. Doubly inappropriate. <laughs> That's a poll question. Would you have public sex with your ex on the next Q poll question? That can be your poll question. Uh, I don't want to I have all my. I, I, I don't want to have. Let me tell you what the ex is. is no more. Mm. Well, I mean, I don't want to have sex with my ex in public. No. I don't want to have sex with my ex. I don't want to be seen with my, my ex. I don't speak to my ex. I speak to a couple I thought you only dated one man. Wow. Whatever, mom. Whatever. Mm-mm. That number one change. Let's get started with the show. Oh, 20, nice. the, the 2020 Democratic debate, days one and two. Okay, so, Mo, did you take a look at I understand. Hey, tell me why they had to have two days. Because it's too, so many. too many damn candidates. <laughs> too many damn candidates. Ain't no damn two days. This ain't no Delta, aka a Zeta convention. <clears throat> well, Mom, it's no it's important that people get an idea of these candidates, you know, so they can, you know, so they can do what? So they can pretty so find can a person register. that that maybe can kind of. So they can register, not decide not to register to vote. Well, 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 hopefully people will vote. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully I'll lose 25 well, pounds in but the next I find, 25 days. Not I think uh, the more candidates there are, people <clears> become <throat> discouraged. That's why I'm like, you know what, let me just let it narrow down. Yeah, everybody's waiting. That's true. Everybody's yeah. waiting for the top three. Yeah. Okay, Which, I agree. My top three is Biden. Biden can don't even need a money maker. I'm going to vote for him. Mm-hmm. 
Me and everybody's too. like, yeah, you got to wait till. I don't have to wait. I don't have to weed out. I know what he is. I know what he can do. He's the oldest, the old man up there now. Mm-hmm. He cusses just like the old man up there. Right. <laughs> right. Except he makes sense. Yeah. yeah. He's, got he's, he's got a better track He's got a brain. Record. He's got, like he said. He's got a heart. He's got a brain. And he got a mouth. Like, Hello. Like the Oz. He got and, courage. And when he was <laughs> like, it was us. And he said, you know, my first wife and child died. You screwed everybody else. Right. You know, right. You know come with and it's white man on white man. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's holes barred. So I, I'm good. Biden versus, you know, Biden, Biden. Well, I will say this. Um, so I had my top three already picked out. Mm-hmm. So Kamala Harris, mm-hmm. Biden, mm-hmm. and um, Elizabeth Warren. Those are my top three. Mm-hmm. Bernie and Warren kind of go hand in hand because I think they just a little too much. Mm-hmm. I agree with a lot of what they're saying, but I think they just a t- little too much for a, pe- a lot of people in the middle. Okay. Too liberal. Yeah, they're, they're too liberal for a lot of people in the middle, and that's where you can lose a lot of ground. Right. This is why I had uh, Biden and uh, Kamala Harris. Mm-hmm. But I was disappointed in Vento. He I disappointed wouldn't. him. He, I figured, and then this is, maybe I just had my, my mm-hmm. viewpoint was different. Mm-hmm. Because when I'm watching the debate, I'm like, okay, you just had this run for Senate in Texas. Mm-hmm. So you lost that. You should know, okay, you should have it fresh on your head what I did wrong, what I can do better, how I can do this, how I can present myself more to the people. And it's like he got up on stage and he just... He should have been on the national stage. He's not yeah. ready. I was like, I don't think he's ready yet. He's not ready he's for not so ready. many reasons. One, he's a representative. Right, mm-hmm. right. Never a senator. Mm-hmm. So he's never been on the national stage. Two, most importantly, he doesn't have the presence of mind. He doesn't have what it needs to do to strike. Mm-hmm. Right, right, So right, I don't need right. no man be pamby And everyone's talking about, he's the next Obama. No, no, he's, no he's not. not. He doesn't no, strike. Not. Obama's main ca- main character point or good point was he was very nonchalant. He was very open to people, but he was a Chicago politician. Right. So I'm sure in the back room he was cutting off heads. Right. So okay. that's my thing. I, let me tell you real quick. I just this is kind of what I I think about it. I I'm, I say my top three would be Biden, of course. Um, I will say Kamala Harris only because of her. I, I call a piece of her her versus Biden or whatever. Kamala Harris, and I guess maybe another person. I guess would be Elizabeth Warren only because she's smart and have smart ways of dealing with money. Yeah, but so, she don't, she don't but, know if she Indian or not. But see, this is my thing. I don't care too much really about the debates at this moment. I'm like with y'all because the thing is, is that I, I'm a I'm, I'm a vote for Joe anyway because I'm I really don't care if it's 100 of y'all. I want to vote for the one that I think is gonna beat Donald. Mm-hmm. Kamala, I mean, is I'm gonna say her name? No, Kamala. 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 Miss Harris. Kamala, whatever. Her, her name, Miss Harris. <laughs> you know, she cannot beat Trump. Elizabeth Warren. Not alone. Not, yeah, right. Not alone. Elizabeth Warren is not going to be Trump. Not not the head of the ticket. Mm-hmm. It's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Bernie Sanders will not beat Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, Beto will not beat Donald Trump. You okay. know, How much I, speak Spanish? absolutely. So my thing is, is you know, I, I you know, she, you know, uh, Senator Harris, right? Mm-hmm. She, she, you know, exhibit great, you know, presidential qualities as you know a vice president maybe yes maybe next time you know what i'm saying well, but i don't i don't well, think let me let me let me run this past you what okay. would you think about biden and kamala harris mm-hmm. on the I, TV I, together i would like that you know i, I don't like know black it's, women are not gonna I, vote for her I don't know. I was just, you know, I was gonna say that, it because she's so emotional. No, black women are gonna vote for her because we talked about this before. Remember when I said black women would not vote for her because of who she married? Mm. Oh black, yeah. Black yeah. women would have not yeah. voted for if Obama had a white wife. A white wife. Mm. Black women would not have voted for her. Yeah. Now, what um, Donald Trump's son just tweeted was that Kamala is not. Is she really black? Because yeah. her father is Jamaican and her mother is East Indian. I swear I think she's East Indian. Yeah, so maybe. Like maybe. Yeah, so much. Like okay, okay so, like so what is he throwing her race under the bus because that's a threat to? Uh, well, he he's no, trying he, he's trying to put it towards uh, Black Americans that she's really not quote unquote really right. Yeah. 
because she he sees her as a threat. Yeah. Because they see her as a threat. The only the only time Trump and his team tweet and comment about somebody mm-hmm. is when they consider him a threat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the people that he's going after are Biden, Kamala Harris, Bernie Sanders, and Elizabeth Warren. Right. What do all right. four of those have? Those, all four of those people have in common is that head-to-head polls that phone. Trump loses. We got a phone call. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Hello, welcome to the Magic Gas Talk Radio Show. This is your boy Q, and who's on the line with us? Yes, sir. you have to understand, at least from my perspective, is that when people say alt-right, that's just another word for racism and white supremacy. I'm going to just be 100 with you. Now, when I say it, they're too far left, I'm talking about from a, a perspective of where when you had a lot of, you did not have a lot of turnout on the last election cycle for president was because a lot of the people in the middle did not vote. So they're not hardcore Republican, they're not hardcore Democrat, but they're kind of in the middle, and they are not the ones that... Huh? People that were traditionally Democratic did not vote. That's true. Right, well, that's because of the division that took... Now, that's true. There is very little. You're, we're polled. We're either very far left or very far right, but my only problem with the very far left is that Bernie Sanders, when he talks about socialism or AOC, so many people don't know the different isms that they are frightened of the very, you know, the very far left. left. And right. that's what right. I'm, that's what and, I'm referencing I, is that people don't understand the definitions right. of some of these things, and then they get twisted. Continue to uh, watch us live and or, you know, just listen to us. 
but I do like your perspectives. Hit us up on Mash the Gas on Facebook so we can uh, continue this conversation because it may be something we'd like for you to call in in the future as we delve more into our political segments, okay? And one more question before you hang up, man. This is Q. Uh, so right now, who you looking at? Who you looking at maybe for maybe a front runner for yourself? Not what everybody is saying, but but for you. Thank you, caller, man. We should appreciate all of that, man. Thank you so much for calling. Right. Absolutely. Thanks, man, for calling, man. Again, just continue to watch us, man, and then come in, and, you know, we'll be in touch with you as well. We appreciate it. Thanks again for calling. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next subject real quick. <clears throat> real quick. Uh, this is, of course, right here in our great city of Dallas, Texas. Demons made me do it. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. All right. This is, illness is real. Here we go. Irving mother, Tisha Sanchez, accused of killing eight-year-old son, moved to a different jail. This is uh, courtesy of CBSDFW.com. Tisha Sanchez, the Irving mother, accused of killing her eight-year-old son, I guess it's Giovanni De La Pena, was moved from the Irving City Jail to the Dallas County Jail. The Dallas County Jail released a new mugshot of her after she was booked into loose theory. What happens is, is that uh, police documents show that Ms. Sanchez said that demons told her to sacrifice her son. Uh, the police found the boy's body in an RV after his mother smothered him to death with a pillow. Her bond is set at $2 million. She mm. smothered him. <clears throat> she smothered him. And <clears throat> called it a sacrifice. Me. And um, said that demons made me do it. Mm. Where was the father? You always ask the question when we start talking about mother criminals. We, I, I, I don't know what the daddy is. They don't say nothing about the daddy. That's the problem. So, I mean, I get that, but we're talking about the baby got the demons, and she said the demons made her kill her. See, this I was the first time somebody somewhere in the family had to know that she was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs or bipolar or well, she mom. had a problem. Okay, well, so, let me tell you what you should have done. Okay, go ahead. Why is it that the family didn't take that child away? I didn't say CPS. I said, okay. why did the family say, because this ain't the first time she, A, said she saw demons, B, she been on drugs, C, she been out all night, D, she been screwing everybody who would let, who had a penis, E, she would just act crazy with, toward that boy. This ain't the first time. This ain't her first rodeo. The boy was how old? Eight. He was eight years old. Okay, we ain't going to talk about postpart. Nope. No. no. We're going to talk about cool, cool for Cocoa Puffs and other people in the family knew that shit. Stuff. So. Okay, so Mo, let me ask you a question. Okay, now, just like you, you, you was talking about words to daddies about this child's, you know, people. But I just think that, like, you know, okay, I'm going to say this. Demons are real. You know, you know, I've seen this stuff with my own eyes. I grew up holiness. And, and so I, we've seen them crawl up walls. We've seen them do a whole lot of stuff. Now, I'm not saying that a demon got in this woman and made her kill her children. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is that 
there are such there is a such thing as a person really possessed. You know, now I'm not saying that you know. But there are signs. Well, well, maybe not. I mean, you know, that like for just example. Happen. Well, I mean, like for example, there there are some people you know who we wouldn't consider demon possessed, but do things that you, for example, as a normal person wouldn't do. Like R. Kelly, for example. We wouldn't call him a demon-possessed man, but we know that R. Kelly has an issue somewhere. So, maybe inner demons or something, I guess? Okay, but inner demons are just that, and we deal with them on it, you know, every day. And yeah. that is whenever people are making personal choices. Well, you know, but inner demons, people right. make their personal choices, but people also make choices. Let's squash this. Let me tell you about her demons. Okay. She had to get moved from New Staring to another jail, right? She's going to be demoned, all right. Yeah, so if, if, if the demons made that. her do it or she thought something, she's going to see a whole new demons when the girls start screwing with her. But what about the Andrea Yates girl? Okay, well, now she was, but now she was crazy. Remember. She was crazy. No, and she, they, her husband. Hold up. I was like, where was her husband? My husband's at work. He's at work. Her husband had been having an affair with somebody else. And yeah, had been, but, and had been neglecting all the signs because they, I mean, they proved that she had, this was an ongoing thing. This was not new, what? but they had been ignoring it, and thinking that she would grow out of it, get over because it, whatever. Because she had back-to-back-to-back-to-back to back to back to back kids. I mean, so she had, she had all, all of us. I mean, she, 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 she yeah, killed like five, five of them, right? Six. Yeah, but you okay. remember she killed, she killed them. The husband went off to work, and the mother was supposed to come in. Right. They were never supposed to leave her alone with those kids. They were supposed to tag team, but he had to go with his little girlfriend at NASA. Right, Cause right, because that's what he worked at now. So. That's right. right, right. And they were never supposed to have, they were supposed to, when he, he was going out the door, she was coming in because they knew she couldn't handle it. They knew. So, okay, that's why so in that case, been as well. so in, I'm going to say, so in that case, why he not in jail? Because he white. Oh. All right, then, next. I'm just saying, you know, so. Well, what about the what's little, her name? What about the little girl that. The little hmm. Indian girl. Yeah, they Sharon. got so, yeah. So they they let the mother go. They let the mother. The mother was because they had a doctor. No, the both all, all three of them were from India. Oh, they, they changed were? their names. Oh, okay. now that's one thing. Why did they all change their name to Matthews? They were Patels. I don't know why they changed their names. Mm. They're small. Look, look at them, and then they were they were all now uh, uh, an apostolic. What do y'all call it? Apostolic. 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 Yeah, so they, they, they kick their Hindu religion to the side. Mm. Um. Converting, changing your name, and it's a small group of people. Well, mm. I mean, I know a lot of Indians that are named Matthews. I don't know what the hell you do. Yeah. <laughs> not, <laughs> the yeah, I, I not, see not the ones who came from I, India. Well, I see they come through all the time. They, they changed change their name. They had to change their name. Because when I went to India that one time, and I told I wasn't there for very long, but I didn't see no damn Matthews, Whites, Williams, or Johnsons. <laughs> the, the most... The most common name that I've seen is uh, Patel. And those are the ones who own the... Um Hotel. Yeah. Now, when I lived in Cincinnati, now I, you know, my, my former company, I can't mention her name on the air, but my former company um, uh, was pretty much ran by Indians, mm -hmm. or whatever the case it is. And so, you know, they use their last name. But the most common one that I run across it, if I can say it right, it start, it's, it's Pushkava or something like that. And I'm like, uh, like something like that. And I'm like, Kumar? what no. Not Komar. It started. They start with a P, like Pliska something. What kind Mar of company or something. was it? Uh, it's a consulting firm. Mm -hmm. A consulting firm. Yeah. And so you know. Well, based on based on their religion, but for a little bit I remember because I'm old. You know, it's a caste system, not right. a caste class system. So, however they're born is what they have to go into. So the Patels go into the hotel industry. And then the S I N G H sings. They go into the gold and, and precious gems, and that's just how they do. When you look at the, um, I love Bollywood movies. Everybody got their own crime. I love them. So when uh, there's this, uh, there was an India cha India channel um, with Tom on the cable, and I used to watch it all the time. And then their commercials would be geared toward that. Mm, and then they're okay. not novellas, but they're you know they're little soap operas. They're mm -hmm. the same way, and that's how I learned all this stuff. And oh my gosh, when they come over, they come over and they get money. They they have their own banks, they have their own private banks, their own private, and that's how they get into the businesses. But when I tell you, when I saw that Matthews, the first thing I asked, and no other reporter asked, is what was your name coming over here? Because they were immigrants. Mm -hmm. She's a nurse, and he was in the technical field in Irving. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And I was like, why you didn't get the background? Why y'all didn't get the background? But she was supposed to be in the, um, she was supposed to testify. But she didn't want to testify, and so that's why he took the deal and got 99 years. Mm-hmm. Wow. But but the question is, they they adopted her first because they couldn't have children. Then a, a lot of people do that. They adopt first, and then they end up having children. Having a baby. So mm-hmm. that's why he killed her, because it wasn't her kids. Mm-hmm. Well, on that note, let's bite some stuff up real quick. Let's talk about the hair show the last three minutes of this segment uh, real quickly here. Um, we know we were at the hair show, the Texas International hair, hair, hair trade, trade show. show. Yeah. And, trade and listen, show. Crixton and Pratina Webb, thank you so yes. much. Yes. 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 Look, another, another fire, fire show. It was good. We can't wait to come back next year. I know, right? I'm so excited. You see my earrings, right? I'm so excited, yeah. you know. Sunshine made a whole bunch of new friends out there. Look. <laughs> You know what we talking about it, sunshine. It, but real quick, I don't want to read it. Touch my hair with your hand and I'll touch your face with my fist. <laughs> here we go. So real quickly here. Um, uh, while we were at the hair show, we met a beautiful young lady by the name of Miss Anita Parker. Miss mm-hmm. Anita Parker of uh LA Chic Chic Apparel. Mm-hmm. You can reach Miss Anita Parker. La Chic, La Chic Apparel. You can reach her on Facebook at All Things La Chic, L A C H I Q, and on what is this Twitter at L A Chic Thirteen. This is the young lady. Mom, I'm gonna let you talk about her real quickly. She's a fashion designer, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna put a copy of her card on Facebook, and this young lady uh, surprised us with a lot of her designs for curvy women. Mo, take it away and talk about. Miss Anita Man, Parker. Miss Anita Parker is the real deal. She helped me. She let me know that I wasn't, wait, you got four different shapes. You know, you got the apple, pear, something like that. Mm-hmm. She was like, well, see, you're different. You're an apple and a, and a, and a square. I was like, well, no wonder I can't even find no clothes. <laughs> well, no wonder. I can't, you know. Oh, goodness. So, so, I mean, I always tell people, if I could put my gut on my butt, oh, my gosh, I would be hell. But. She she has a she's in Frisco. That's the only bad thing because she's up north. If she's mm-hmm. down south, she'd be. Oh, well, that was surprised me. She she sold out. Of course she, she did. Sold oh, out. She sold out. Like it was, was it was like happened. yeah. If we weren't even, I think it was like a little bit after lunch. She didn't even have anything left. Yeah. And then she just had that one outfit that she was modeling and on. She, oh, she I was like, did you see the outfit she yeah. was modeling? Oh that my blue god. Pants suit. And uh, she oh my and she god. makes all of her stuff. Yes. Oh, I mean, she hands, she designs, hand sews, and she, and, you know, she can't talk about her clientele list. But I was like, well, let me see some of your stuff, and I saw some people. I was like, that's um, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, but then that's why she's out in the Frisco area too. Mm-hmm. So, you know. But, but that person lives over there in Cedar Hill in the hills. Yeah, there. yeah. The, the gospel singer kind of show. But you know, let me tell you something. You know, I was quite impressed at her designs. Mm-hmm. You know, that was one of the first things that caught my eye. Other classy? than her, very, very, very classy. Very, very classy. Yeah. Very nice. And, Mo, and you know, Mo, I was like, you know what, Moni, and we're gonna bring her on the show actually because she's gonna do Mo's makeup. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Mo's gonna have to make makeup. makeup. Because I got some seminars I have to do, and I was like, oh, I need about six, seven outfits. She's like, okay. Mm. So yeah. So you know, listen, guys. This, this young lady is, is fantastic. You can reach her at lachicapparel at yahoo.com or www.allthingslachic.com. Miss Anita Parker. Woo-hoo! And, all right. Yeah, so we'll be putting our card and information up on our uh, website as well as Facebook uh, and Instagram and all that good stuff. So Take us away, Miss Sunshine, for the first break. We're going to go on our first break. With all things Luther. Luther. All things Luther. All things Luther today. Eddie Love and So Amazing. Ooh. Yes. So Amazing. We'll be right back. Yes. Oh. Rock my back. Rock my back. It's hot. Yes. There's a knot in my shoulder blade. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to. Little, more to the center. So amazing. Right, down lower. No. You said down low. You said the center. It's the center of your back. Okay, now move to the left. Okay. A little lower. Oh, right there, right there. Oh, my gosh. Look, I need a tennis ball. 
I'm trying not to go too hard, but that's not hard as I can go. I know ladies like pain, but I'm not trying to hurt you today. That's you know, right see yellow, see leave bruises. Spot. It just hurts and it just won't go away. It doesn't matter how much I stretch. That's why I just, you know. Look, I had a water bottle at work, like rubbing up against my, I was trying to get it out, but that hurts. Sorry. It's your whole shoulder blade, though. Yeah. It's your partial It's like came. right in the middle. I bet your partial came, bro. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. No. No. Yes, I know. <laughs> so what's up, everybody? How y'all okay. doing? Let's go over these comments real quick. Okay, right. Monica L. said Biden and Beto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I said that at one point, but I don't know. I don't know no more. What's up, Richard Tate? What's going on? Hey, my big sis is on. Uh, Tanithia is on. TJ Savoy, what's going on? Hey, man, how you Why doing? You talking about me, Mom? Hmm. She's talking about her daughter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know I'm getting big. <laughs> you know what? Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, so what else, what else about the hair show did y'all have fun with? Oh, everything. my gosh. Everything. Everything. I I, it's, it's too much evil put Bibs. into words. Bibs. Beverages yes. in a bag. Oh, yeah. But you know what? Woo. You gonna get the people in trouble. You. Because you took the stuff out, dude. Because they were not supposed to be selling that on campus, and you just walked around. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm walking around. I said, what the hell is wrong with her? You know lie. what? The other thing that I'm surprised neither well, that was after I got none of y'all woke up. That's when I just you after I got right. <laughs> I'm surprised none of y'all bought up the um what is it called bedroom candy? Man, no. let me tell you, they had bedroom candy, y'all was up there, and we're gonna post the interview on our website and on Facebook. And let me tell you something, them jokers, mo, they was ready, wasn't they, mo? Mm. They was, <laughs> it was so ready. I was. That, that the whole time that girl had my mouth wide open, and not oh. wide open because I was drooling or, or but my mouth was wide open because I was trying to imagine what this what they were talking about how you use some of this stuff. Mm. I didn't. I smelled that they had some stuff for men. I smelled the um, men's uh, uh, cream that they have to to stimulate um, an erection. They had the kind of oh. cream, and I smelled the cream, and the cream was kind of like, um, you remember old school chrome? Mm -hmm. it, that's how it smelled, like old school chrome. I was like, I don't know if my, well, my penis smell like that. <laughs> well, it's not like you're going to be sniffing it anyway. Yeah, do you sniff your penis? Because if you do, next time you're going to say you're going to suck it, and that's disgusting. I, you know, I, I, I just I don't I don't ever sniff it, but you know you gotta wash it a couple. I've been saying you got to go down there to see if everything is all right. I mean, when you, you say know, sniff it, you know, dogs sniff themselves. Men actually, you know, you know, check yourself to see if you're right. Yeah, just like yeah. women had to do self breast exam, we gotta check ourselves. Gotta check ourselves. Yeah. We gotta check ourselves. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Because we gotta, we're going to talk about that poll question about bathing in just a minute. Yeah, oh and yeah. You, and you got to bring, because you lead this segment, so you got to bring the scene with the poll question. Yeah. Reggie, would you have more with the poll question? Yeah, I got you. That, that's, that's why I did what I did. Mm -hmm. That's exactly why I did what I did. I definitely, look, I can't even say anything <laughs> with the poll question. Right? What, Mo? What? What is it, Mo? Ooh, child, these people, I can't stand my friends. That's all I got to say. Listen, they listen. Come out. Uh, why do you always put your other ring in? Oh, Denethia says she has never met a man that's, that sniffs his own penis. Hey, Denethia. That you know Denethia. of. Denethia. And, and you know what? Even then, maybe say, more men should. You see my why face, Denethia? You, you see, see my so, face? So, yeah. <laughs> you see well, my face? I got I to gotta pull up the poll questions for you, Mo. I'm like... You know what, now, because now that you're talking about that, what? you know, there was this, this woman that um, I used to work with, and she had an odor, mm. and it was not regular body odor, if you get my drift. Oh. And I, I'm like, she's got to smell it. 
She's I'm sure she do. I'm sure she do. She, you know, I know she used to and it. I, and I kid you not, the first time that I caught a whip, I was like, let me, I gotta go to the ladies' room. Because I was like, I was like, me? <laughs> <laughs> so. Have you? I, you know, it's, it's, you but know, you what, know that what? But you that know what? Happens, though. Hold up, hold up. Maybe it's in the same line of people with bad breath. Maybe they don't know Maybe it. Maybe they don't know. So, you know, Maybe, you know, uh, I don't know. Well, Denethia, I'm sure you can Shower, have, shower. I'm sure shower, you can, Denethia. Shower. Make sure you get all the nooks and crannies because, you know. Okay, so so back to this big room know. candy stuff. <laughs> so they had, like I said, yes, Denethia, you can have the scent down there if you want to have it down there because you're the one down there. So I'm sure he wouldn't mind you having an actual scent that um, you like. Okay. So I think that that's okay. They also, with the Big Room Candy, they talked about the paddles and the soft uh, dominatrix that they had going on over there. Um, one thing that I, I absolutely loved at the hair show is um, the husband and the wife team that we're gonna be bringing up later yeah. on, Be yeah. Marcel Beauty. Yeah, um, they, they was, they was, that's, that's what you call a power couple. Good absolutely. morning, my child, I see you. And, and uh, Mo, what was the business we interviewed? I'm getting her names right now. But with the father and, the, uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the husband and wife, but the father was creating the shirts. They had the different sayings on them to encourage yes. our black people. Yes. Yes. You know, that was the same. The black Fathers Matter. Right. Yes. And he had another one. It was like a whole lot of different things that he had. I thought that, that his business was really cool. We have his car, too. I thought it was way cool. Yeah. You know yeah. my favorite name was? I mean, my favorite group was? Which one? The dope, dope fades. Oh no, they good. They good. Dope fades. Shout out to dope fades. Well, my boys in the um. The barber. Uh, yes, Lord, the barber. Dang it. Woo! Do you remember oh, the barber? The one in the corner, the on the corner. other side of the stage. That was oh, you talking about? It had the, about, had the uh, barber school. The barber and the, school. And the yeah. Shop. Ooh, the barber school and the academy. They come on the show. I know that. Yeah, they come. Yes, yes, yes. And mm -hmm. I just want y'all to know when they do come on the show, I'm wearing my girdle. And I'm going to have makeup on and my hair going to be done. Okay. When they come on the show. When they come on the show. Gotcha. Yeah, because that was gotcha. the thing about going to this hair show. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Because I don't like, you know. Javon, we're doing pretty good, man. Thanks for asking. I had to take my time and do my, my beard and stuff like that. Because yeah. usually I don't, you know, I That's get it close child. and whatever. That's your son? That's my child. Mm. Hey, Javon. Thanks so for watching. A, the oldest, youngest, middle. That's my oldest, my firstborn. Oh, okay. The most special of them all. Most painful. <laughs> no, actually, actually, things didn't get painful okay, so until uh, about age 15, in, 16, would you, would you uh, say? Yeah. The game night I'm talking oh, about childbirth Jesus. process. Oh, no, no, read that the was game night Oh, you got one right Look, there behind you. Maybe they that's behind what's bridges. wrong. <laughs> right there, Reggie, yeah. Because you and, know um, what? Now that I think about it, my first, and just the call in number, my first and my last child, my first and last child were both C-sections. Mm. Oh, well, All good. the others were okay? natural. Yeah. You, what happened? You the chair popped, and I thought I was going to fall back. <laughs> and she's leaving. What? I'll do the intro. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry about it. All right. All right, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. So everybody. Mo was supposed to do the incoming intro, but you know she always late. She always got something going on. But until she gets back, oh there she is. So we're gonna talk about game night. I got. I'm gonna do the game night. She just she did. She late. We fighting over the game put night. Your put your on. headset on though before you can do anything, Mo. Put your headset on, Mo. I don't understand why you don't put your headset on, Mo. Get that. There you go. So, the After Party Radio Game Night, featuring the game Black Card Repo. Yes. Hey, all of your favorites, Connect 4, Jenga, of course, Dominoes, and the almighty Space. Hey. July 12th, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Pacific Deck at 1910 Pacific Avenue on the first floor. Hosted by Team After Party. Hey, y'all, it's going to be July 12th, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Happy Hour Food, Drink Specials, Giveaways, Fun. For tickets and more information, visit the AfterParty.com events. Once again, After Party Radio Game Night featuring the game Black Card Revolt. So y'all yes. already know, yes. if y'all have a competitive bone in your body, you better bring it. Absolutely. Yes. Bring it. 
Because uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm okay at spades. No. I, I'm, I'm bad at dominoes. Yeah. I'm, 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 yeah I'm, I'm, the only problem is Pop's not going to be there. Because me and my dad were playing together. Yeah, that's that's just a Domino's thing. or spades? Wow. Dominoes. Okay. Yeah, they, 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 they have space table. I'm serious. Next time, can we get a crap table? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you know, hey, you know, we got a couple corners in the in the in That's the. Exactly. Uh, That's what the mortgages do. I'm just saying. Hey, we, 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 we give us some dice. That ain't nothing. We sure can jump on the. We jump so, on the hardware. So this this is the next poll question. Well, we gonna go over our next poll question. All right, everybody, the poll question. Let's do it. All right, so a listener asked. Is a 30 to 45 minute shower too long for a man to shower? Okay, 42% said yes, don't take that long. And 58% said hell no longer if needed. Yeah. Look. I agree. You yeah. may need to reach you know, extra. Well, it's me, and let me ask you something. When y'all in the shower, don't you wash your hair? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's not the only thing we wash. Well, I'm just telling you start from hand to toe, so maybe it should take y'all that long. But see, this is the thing. Like, first of all, and, and you know, I think I kind of want Montana to see she's sitting there. Mm-hmm. I think I want to hear her comment because she put on there, she was like, you know, it shouldn't take a guy that long to shower. Mm-hmm. We, we need to bathe, Montana. We need to bathe. We need first, let me tell you how you got to do it. When you get in the tub, before you put soap on your body, and you tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. No, you know it, they no. Do the no, no. 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 Uh-huh. It, it don't it take it take me that cause I'm gonna tell you right now, if I'm just shaving my head, shaving my head alone in the shower, that's that's a twenty that's twenty minutes right there. Yeah. That's that's twenty I minutes shave by face in the shower. Shower. So you know, to me, you know, and there my, are there are men that are you know they're manscapers out there. Yes. Yeah. When you got a manscape, yeah, you got a manscape. So you know if I if I got a manscape and shave my head, that's a good hour right there, easy in the okay. shower. And then you got the you got the before you put the soap on your body you got the rinse off. Yes. You got to rinse your body off all the way over and all this kind of stuff. You got to do that for about a good five seven minutes. Right. And then when you rinse yourself off, then you go ahead and apply whatever soap you're going to use. You wash yourself all over, rinse, mm-hmm. put some more head soap head on, to toe. Toe. and put more soap. If you don't on. wash your legs and your feet. You yeah, you gotta wash yeah. your legs, your feet, and you know, you your ass, you, you, all of that. Got see, to be and you skip most important part, because to me, like, like most the of the undercarriage, head to toe, right? Yeah. So you gotta do your whole facial scrub. So you know, right. I get in there, it takes, you know, I shave yeah. my head, I do my facial scrub, yeah. and you know, that takes a while, and then you know, skip, okay. Okay. Here's a better question, mm-hmm. and my brother taught me this early on. What? Because he's ten years old. Anyway. Do, do, okay, how many washcloths do you use? Two. Two. Some people use, I mean, I use one for my face and one for my body. That's right. Why, that's what Some you're people to. use one for head to toe. Just why? one. Because they say they're already in the shower and they go, I don't know. I don't well, know. I, can I, mean, see that, I can see that if you're using one and you clean your face first mm-hmm. and then you mm-hmm. can go, you can work your way down. I can see that. I can. And, and then you, 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 know, you, you, you close, yeah. discard it. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. Too, and then you got to think about it. You know, our face is is exposed to more germs mm-hmm. than you know your your body that's covered with clothes. And so, because, but but since your face is out in the open, your body that you have we have tightened up with clothes have trapped odors in right. them, all kinds of sweat, all kinds of stuff like that, and you don't want that on your face. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, you know, this is something, and I don't realize or I haven't realized until here in the last few years how many people don't realize bacteria grows best in warm dark spaces places. so yes. hello mm-hmm. absolutely hello mm-hmm. then- that's why you need to make sure you also thoroughly dry off you know yeah you towel dry but you might want to air dry before you just go on throwing on clothes or you can use a little baby fountain put socks on before you put your drawers on because you know what athlete's foot mm-hmm. that's right becomes jock itch you know you know it's saying. so let's go to the next poll question <laughs> <laughs> let's so, go to the next one okay hold on a second give me a second Come on, I, 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 Mo's not doing this oh, yeah. Mo's doing this so, here we go. 
I'm, I'm, I'm working on the, 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 the technical. So, the next poll question is random question from Hendrix. What do you prefer, Team Android or Team Apple? 61% said Team Android. 39% said Team Apple. Wow. So, so more people like Android that follow us than yeah. Apple. Right. Well, and I find that younger generations mm -hmm. prefer the Apple over the Android. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if that's because Android is a little more complex. Maybe. Yeah. And you know, because I remember back in the day when Apple came out with something, it was all, yeah, it was kind of made it seem like it was basic. Yeah. You know, back in the day. You yeah, know? Don't get it twisted. Every time, like, my son hands me his phone, look at this, I'll be like, okay, I don't know what I did. I just broke it here. Take it back. I don't know how to work that thing. <laughs> I, and you know what? Even, even... With Apple products, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I like the way they sync and stuff like that, but but Android to me, it it makes more sense. Mm -hmm. And I think it, it makes, makes more sense to due to the way we grew up with computers. Mm -hmm. Right, right, if, if right. When you were starting out learning computers, how Androids are are. Basically, the setup is like Windows 95. Right. You can find things. It, it make it flows better. However, the newer generation, I can see where they like Apple. Because Apple makes things simple, easy, quick, and then you have this virtual sync where you go from Apple to your, you know, your, your phone, your iPhone, to your iPad, your Mac, and it's kind of seamless. I will say this, though. If you do have a Samsung and you have your Samsung account, it will do the same thing because right. my tablet, my phone, my uh, laptop, they're all Samsung. And the same thing people be bragging about, oh, I can just pick up this. I can do it on. Do the same thing. I can do it the same thing. What's but, the point? But what they're doing is they're introducing Apple products in the schools. Yes. So that's why the learning curve is not as great for students mm -hmm. when they become buying consumers. Right. It's because mm -hmm. they've already been introduced to it. Mm -hmm. Now, like, now they have Apple desktops in schools. Hell, the so, A&M has an Apple store on campus. No, no, I'm just talking about like in junior high and high school. So okay. that's where they're being introduced to the Apple. Oh, yeah. Right, right, so that's why. Right. And also, it's, it's counterintuitive because the mouse, even on, on the Apple um, products, are different. Mm -hmm. It's backwards. Right. Well, mm -hmm. I consider it backwards because I'm a Microsoft person. And this, right. is, this is why a lot of our generation is more geared toward mm -hmm. Android mm -hmm. because when we were in school, it was Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And right. the Android is based, it's that same principle just like with Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Right. So, mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I feel like sooner or later, Apple's going to go through the same thing that Microsoft went through. Right. And they're going to break it up because I love the fact that when we were growing up, you used to get your operating system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you would have you would have Word, you would have PowerPoint, you'd have Excel, you have all of that in the operating system. And it was now so you, easy. Right. Now, now you have to buy it all. Up. They have they said because this is what Apple bought to the table and said they uh, Microsoft had a monopoly. Mm -hmm. So they had to break it up mm -hmm. so Apple could compete. Now Apple's doing the same thing. They're gonna break Apple up too. Mm -hmm. They're gonna oh, yeah. break. They've already started. Oh, okay. With their iTunes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's let's move on then, everybody, real quick, because we got we got about fifteen minutes to yeah. this segment. And you can pass that to Mo real quick. Mm -hmm. I got it for. Yeah. Okay. I'm, He's I'm actually fine. nice today. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna talk about. Oh my God! Really, Mo? Yeah. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Well, no, no, no. Okay, but look, y'all, y'all don't have to do me a segment for Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby has officially filed a formal appeal, it was on June 25th, to overturn his sexual assault conviction. This comes six weeks after the judge who oversaw his Pennsylvania trial stood by his rulings in the case. According hmm. to page six in this 177 page filing, which I'm waiting to get. Right. Uh, Cosby argued that it was wrong for the judge to allow accusers Janice Dickinson and four of the women to testify that he drove and sexually assaulted them. Cosby claimed the five witnesses should have been excluded from his April 28, 2018 trial, along with the deposition testimony in which Cosby admitted that he kept quaaludes on hand to give to women that he found sexually attractive. Cosby and his lawyers claimed that the evidence had no relevance 
to the charges that he drugged and sexually assaulted Temple University staff Andrea Constant at his Philadelphia home back in January 2004. So, the filing is an important step in ensuring that Mr. Cosby receives a hearing from a fair and impartial court. The Constitution guarantees that right to Mr. Cosby and to all Americans. Mrs. Co Dr. Mrs. Cosby also said America will be great when it fulfills the last four words of the revered Pledge of Allegiance and justice for all. Now, this is my take on it. I don't understand. Okay, so the DA did not want to, the former DA did not want to press charges because Andrea Constant in January 2004 or 2005, she signed a confidentiality agreement and received more than $2 million. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't know why, well, she didn't press charges, but the um, the new DA did, because mm -hmm. they were after Cosby. Because Cosby's powerful, he's black, and he's in Philadelphia. Well, here's, this, this is what I don't understand. If, if the woman, mm -hmm. Because one of them couldn't even remember which decade it was in, that right? Was the first one. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. She she couldn't remember what decade it happened in. Mm -hmm. Now, just recently this week, mm -hmm. we had another woman come mm -hmm. up and say, forty-five assaulted her. Mm -hmm. Right. Shouldn't, right. It, should, shouldn't the same rules apply? Yeah, but forty-five said he wouldn't. Have, he doesn't remember assaulting her. He doesn't remember her. Because but she has friends that corroborated her story. She has a picture of them together. Yeah. But he always says. His two things are, that's not my type. Right. <laughs> and it didn't happen. Right. I wouldn't have touched that. Yeah. You know, and then 45 got his privilege, mm, too. Let's not even talk. You know, that's, that's I mean, going to be. As long as, as long as people who look like 45 lead this nation, they'll always have the upper hand. Right. But as, Ms., uh -huh. as Dr. Right. Cosby now sits in jail after he had to pay that woman, I don't appreciate the double standard. No. But once again, America doesn't doesn't learn from its history, and it doesn't as, accept what they are. The two most powerful people in the United States of America is a black woman and a white man. Mm -hmm. A white man because he rules, and a white man understands how powerful black women are because we are head of the household, unfortunately, and so we also control the purse strings. When you look at the football and baseball and basketball players, when they're in that camera, the first thing they say is, hi, mom. I will, I will agree with you <clears throat> up until, to a point, because if you looked at the NBA draft this year, there were more fathers there than anything. Well, yeah, because they learned from their mistakes. Right, what so I it, it's transition. When it comes to, when it comes to power, Mm -hmm. The way we wield the power is because we have the purchasing power. Right. Now, had Michael Jordan, and I tell this people, had Michael Jordan not dated or not married his first wife after she got pregnant, he called off the wedding. And if he had married that Cuban woman the first time, you wouldn't see 23 on shit. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't see 23 on shit because she was the advertising executive for him. Okay. Because she's the one that helped push to get him with Gatorade and Nike. Exactly. So it hadn't been for her, and she's a black woman. Mm -hmm. so, so let me ask you a question. So so now now that we, we're talking about Bill Cosby for, for a few Dr. seconds. Dr. Bill Cosby. <clears throat> Dr. Bill Cosby mm -hmm. and Dr. and his wife, Mrs. Dr. 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 Mrs. Bill. Dr. Camille I mean, Cosby. I mean, Camille Cosby. Cosby. Mrs. Dr. However, whatever order you want to put it. You can still I call said, her doctor. I, 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 you know, my problem with Bill Cosby, I just have an issue with this, this whole thing. But I will say this. Because I think that his trial was a trial of trial and error, mm -hmm. he needs an appeal. Mm -hmm. yes. Not because of what may have been proven that he did. But first of all, the man is too damn old. Right. You know, I, you know I, I, he's just too old. And he he's too not, old. He did not force the drugs on those women. Mm -hmm. You know, he well, didn't, he, but Bill Cosby should have been doing that shit. He was America's dad. Look, but you he know what? There's, 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 no, there's, a lot of celebrities, there's a lot of celebrities out there doing a lot of things they don't need to be That's doing. That's true. That's Therefore, true. But, but we don't know them, so we don't fault them. It's when those faults come to light that all of a sudden that perfect person becomes human. That's true. And I'm not, I'm, and I agree with you. The only thing that I'm saying is, number one, he's too old. Number two, 
you know, it feeling is so wrong bad, for, for playing with the statute of limitations like that. Mm -hmm. I just, I just, you know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not excusing this. I'm not saying, I'm not, you know, no, uh, no. messing with the Me Too movement. I right. promise to God I'm not, not no. doing none of that kind of stuff. Right. What I'm saying is, is that if we're going to have a trial, have a fair trial, mm -hmm. make sure it's a fair one. This man is too damn old to be in a pen like this, and I agree with you. You know, regarding uh, this latest testimony, you because, know. I mean, look at look at Harvey uh, Weinstein. Weinstein. Yeah, but he's white. Bill exactly. Cosby, Bill and, and Bill that's Cosby the black, exactly. You know, and so so I'm I'm saying that you know if if you know hopefully he get his appeal, you know hopefully some things will work out for him because if if they, if they don't, you know if they don't you know if he, if they don't get him out of trouble then put him on house arrest or something, send him home. Send the man home. Let him live out his days at home. I, I don't want because I still watch the Cosby Show. I do. I can't. I can't lie. I, it's and, still my, good. and my it's favorite. It's still ever. relevant. It's still funny. And you know what? It's still an empowering piece of the community. Well, I don't go that far. I laugh at it. So oh I'm just God. saying. You know. I'm, so the thing is, is that you know, I, I, like just, you that cute. I just, I'm just saying. You know, I I get in a particular place where you know I believe that. The Cosby Show is a show of comedy. My favorite episode is what's the one with Vanessa went out there to the um, woo with the Vanessa went, went, no no, no she, she went to Maryland, Maryland and she went to Baltimore, Baltimore and the concert to see the wretched. Ooh, yes. and to she see the wretched. the wretched. She said it was and the, oh that mama came back. Yeah, oh, that's my favorite show, episode to see the wretched. So you know, so real quick, let me see. We got a few more minutes to our break. Even though this is not on the show, let's talk, talk about the hair show some more. Let's introduce our next. Person and from and from, from, from the so this is women. sisters Not of serenity, sisters, yes. sisters of serenity, of serenity. Yes. Yes. yes, 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 they had the they, cords and show them what you do, honey. Yes, mm -hmm. so they nice little satchels of bath sauce, mm -hmm. so they had bath sauce, body butters, scrubs, they had a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, they got candles too. Mm, they smell good. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Home in her kitchen. In, in her street, kitchen, she said. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but they they uh they killed that, they killed that boy Sisters of Serenity. So they can actually be reached on their website, Sisters of Serenity. So for all those um Masons and Easter <laughs> stars, stars yeah. it's spelled Sisters. So with an A. Not an E. Uh, of Serenity.com. You can email them at Sisters of Serenity at Yahoo.com and they can be reached at 972 674 9315. And again, we'll be putting their information up on our Facebook page and Instagram and Twitter and all that. So you'll be able to find them. But they had some lovely, great scented products. Uh, made you feel a certain type of way, but what that's it? just me. The yellow, the yeah. lady yeah. one. Yeah, the, the little one's, one's really yeah. good. Mm -hmm. I mean, lavender is lavender is lavender. Right. But that lemon was just so okay. So after I make my lemonade, I put the uh, peelings down the the garbage disposal so it smells so good. Right, right. right. But and the it keeps lemon, it from rusting. Oh, really? that? Yes. But the, the the stuff that they had just when you put in your bath, it just it just it's just it, you just smell it all day. It's so good. You 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 could smell that candle way down the hall. Right. When we was coming, I was like, dang, what is that smell? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can really smell it. And then they had she had so much knowledge. On her product, oh, oh yeah, it was it was really cool. The the natural products, because I remember we was talking, and I said, you know, I like natural stuff. She said, all these are natural, made in my kitchen. Yeah. I said, what? Come on, yeah. Edith Bunker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. So well, we no, go. You need Carol's daughter. Because Edith Bunker made her stuff uh, in the kitchen. Edith, it was aren't you Yeah. yeah. Okay, take a anyway, second. We're gonna go to break. Um again, everything Luther. So yeah. Yeah, yeah so we listening to Always and Forever. Always oh, that's my song right there. Forever. Yes, and here and now. Oh, I'm sorry, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's my mistake. Always and forever and don't wanna be a fool. I'm now sorry. that's my song right yeah. there. Don't want to yeah, be a yeah. fool. And we'll Everybody. be right back, y'all. Here and now, number one waiting song of the world. Here and now. Yes, they are, Denise. Ooh, yes. What? She asked me where they eat the stars. Yes, they are. Yeah. Yes, they are. He's one, too? Huh? The husband? I don't know. I didn't ask about the husband. I know the, the two sisters. I don't know if the husband was Mason or not. I didn't ask. Okay. This is my song, Jack. 
This is my song. Okay. Do I need to uh, call your uh, surprise guest? Man, come on, bro. Nah, my surprise guest didn't stay where she is. Please. She back here in Texas now. Mm, she stay where she needs to stay. I ain't stuck. Mm -mm. Mm. This water is so freaking good. I know, right? Oh, is that the apple? This is the apple, yes. yes. Okay. I like the lime. This one. Listen, I'm not really trying to give Perrier no shout out, but that's some good water. Look. It takes care of everything. I give Hennessy a shout out. <laughs> Hennessy and Perrier? No, Hennessy and ginger beer. Oh, yeah. Like, ginger beer? Yeah. Yes, yes. Blood orange flavored ginger beer and don't ask me who makes it because uh but yes and make your little moscow mule well mule it's not a moscow mule but um it's a mule a little squeeze of lime in there mm -hmm. you know what i miss Look, thank I, you I, I because have, I have like three a day <laughs> three or four a day thank y'all for watching be having another one when i get home Make sure you guys give us some thumbs up, give us some hearts. Make sure you share this broadcast. Also, do us a favor. Go on over to Periscope and find Mash Guests and follow us there. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, on all that good stuff. YouTube, we on, we on all of it. Make sure you go and follow us, share this broadcast with your people. Because listen, we just love you and all that good stuff. I thank you for the hearts and, 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 and the smiley faces and the wow. Thank you so much for doing that. Okay, that's what it is. Sometimes when she be drinking stuff in the cup. I don't even have a cup. Just look. I didn't see a cup. I don't even have a cup. Look, I didn't have time to make sure I had. Y'all like that, Luke? I was just trying to make sure that I had. Do me a favor in the comments. Tell me what your favorite Luther Vandross song is. <laughs> I came in when she was doing it. That's what I said. Is she on that song? What's your favorite Luther Vandross song? I am on Sleep Deprivation. Me too. <laughs> went, to, went to sleep at about 11. Woke up around 2. Welcome to my world. See how y'all love before summer starts. Rolled up in here. Then y'all come up. Why did you ever come Because I just, I just went to bed. Love. But you can go to bed, though, Mom. Now I can. But you know, like when, you. I'm working, when I'm working at school, I get off at 5, I go to work at 6, I get off at 11. Thank you, because I, I appreciate it. I go to work, I go to sleep at 1, I come here at 10. <laughs> Absolutely. If this world were mine, that's yeah. my song, too. So amazing. Yep. I, so I that's my song right there, Janice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Y'all come we, on with we, it. We played so amazing earlier, though. So that's that's good. That man had, I'm telling you, that man made more babies. A million kisses. What? Marcus. A million I'm kisses. I'm so proud yeah, of my that's... baby at the barber. Yeah. He even hit the gym. Well, so Wait for love. TC, yeah. yeah. I'm really. That's I'm my baby. son right there, yeah. boy. Yeah. That boy. Look, my son in the gym. What we going to do? Get in the gym. All right. Well, I've been, I been in the gym. i just been eating horribly. Okay, I've so, been the gym. so we bad boy, Kia. Stop, Kia. Eating. Okay. Look now, now you roll up in here with the sausage egg and biscuit. I gotta go and get a and go get a Big Mac. Let me tell you, I wanna go and go to Catfish Floors, or we can go to the park right there and get some Catfish Connection. Look, what on what, the food what, truck. What, what is Brunchaholics working with today? They're not they not close. They closed they this closed weekend. They, they scuba diving this weekend. Well, what damn, you, damn, 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 damn. You said you're going to eat clean. What are you talking about? I said I want to eat clean. I said I've been in the gym and I've been eating healthy. Because he had a fried he, he had a baked potato that didn't Come look over. like a baked potato. Come over, look. I got I got salad. I got spinach. Oh, I got so broccoli. Good. Creep. Yeah, creep is a good one. Creep is a good song. Some mango. What you gonna do with all that? Strawberry. Look, <laughs> I'm making I'm making smoothies. <laughs> this song right here got me through got me through a breakup. Ooh. Oh Lord Jesus. Let me tell you something. I said that to myself. I don't wanna ever be a fool again. Mm. You hear me? Yes. 
Bless all those in love. Tell you somebody so um somebody asked me you know why did i do why did we do a tribute to luther the reason why we did a tribute to tribute to luther is because number one that's what i asked them to do and i think all of us like luther but yeah. also luther vandross if his music is not played enough it's not he's not recognized enough for me he to me had one of the most beautiful timeless voices of our era you know, well, they, were, they were thinking about that because what's Michael, up, Steve Yancey? Michael Jackson just died, and they thought that we do the Michael Jackson. Yeah, it was a one year anniversary. Hey, I ain't seen oh, Steve yeah. in a minute. Yeah, and I don't think I've seen Steve since what's yeah. going on? Senior what's in college. Oh, don't want to be. A, I don't want to be a fool no more. Mm -mm. Yeah, so yeah, that that Luther's on point though, boy. That Luther's See, on you point. can't just listen to Luther though. See, no. Luther is like. Luther's like old school jams. They make you feel kind of some kind of way. Luther make you think. He make you make he make your brain turn for real. Yeah, you look, know? I, I don't need to be feeling any kind of way. <laughs> next week, next week, are we on break? But we gonna be rocking the trap music. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to DJ Screw. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. DJ June Screw. DJ Screw. Yeah. He passed away, right? DJ yeah, Screw he passed, passed away, away a while ago, but they, you know. It's June twenty seventh. It's a Texas oh. thing. It's it's a national. It's a holiday. Okay. You know you got you got Juneteenth, and then right after that you got June twenty seventh. And yes, I played the original forty five minute freestyle like for two days straight. And yes, ooh, a house is not, house home. not a home. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. That's a good one. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes. Um. But yeah. a chair is still a chair even when there's no one sitting there. Thank you, bro. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. You gonna be okay? Uh huh. I'm talking about sunshine. She she look like she in a mood. So well, she says she's gonna need a drink after I, us playing Luca. Look, I told y'all, you know, initially. I thought that was like, you that said that. No, oh, I mean, I'm I, a, like, I yeah, mean, I'm, I'm not, gonna give I'm, me a drink. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna get in there because Luca, 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 Luca. Yeah, me I too. ain't so, feeling very Lutherish right now. Some of y'all will probably concede to Luca. Some of us would probably conceive to lose them. Yeah. So. Look, I think my son was conceived. <laughs> I said, why you don't want to go there no more? You give too many ideas in your brain. No, no, no they ain't no Oh, here, put this, put this back in there. So Shoot, Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Because we got one more. Yeah. We got one more, one more. We got one more. MC. Just say. Luther's entire album is like, yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right, standing by. I'll bring us back in. You're going to bring it? Oh, you bring us on you? Yeah, it's on me because we're going to talk about the next segment. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Uh oh. Here we go. Here we go. Look, All I, right, standing I even, by. I ain't even ready. Mm. I ain't even ready. We're going to be ready for it. Don't want to be a fool ever again. Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's your boy Hendrix. And uh, yeah, a little more Luther for you. Always and forever. And don't want to be a fool. Yeah. Everybody going to be in the type of mood today. But, you know, it's, yeah. When we leave the show. Everybody going to be feeling a little something, something. So. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. So our next segment we're going to get into today. We're going to talk about reparations. Reparation. Because this has been a topic that has been bought up in the, the you know, kind of been bought up with the 20, uh, 2020 uh, election cycle that we're going through right now. So people have bought it up. Um, people have been thinking about it, bringing it to the forefront. Just want to get y'all thoughts on the issue at hand. What What are y'all thoughts on res reparations? Well, you know, I already said I got three questions. Mm -hmm. My question number one is... <clears throat> Uh, who's going to get it? Mm -hmm. How would you find out who's going to get it? Mm -hmm. And how would you pay it? 
Mm. Would you, you know, you know, I sent you guys a, a post or whatever the case is, like ideas for reparations. I want to read that. Y'all okay. want me reading? Yeah, that? no, because that, that's what I was gonna pull up. So go ahead. You go got? Ahead. Oh, you no, go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got. It. Okay, it says this is this is an article that that popped up. I'm not really sure of the source, but it doesn't belong to Mash Gas. It says how America can pay reparations to Black people. Number one, elim el eliminate cannabis license fees and award grants to Black cannabis entrepreneurs. Number two, number two, cover down payment expenses for the first time black home buyers. Number three, increase social security payments for black seniors. Hmm. Number four, provide pathway to federally sanctioned clemency for black felon tax. Hmm. <laughs> number five, Forgive black student loan debt and make higher education free for black students. And number six, award startup grants to black entre entrepreneurs. So those are just a couple of ways that, you know, they are going to bring across Facebook or whatever on how they can pay reparations. Any more ideas on how they can pay reparations? Should, should, should we get reparations? I think yes. Okay. And I will say this because any t any point in American history where the American government has done wrong by a group of people, they have paid them out. Point blank period. They have paid them out. Period. Cash money done. You look at how they did the Japanese in World War II. You look at how they did the Native Americans. I mean, you look at how they did the Italian and uh, Irish immigrants, it, it goes on and on and on. And yet, when it comes to black people, they will not come up off their cash. Right. Okay. And I look at it as like this. You really want to do something? Here's my idea. And y everybody might not think it's fair, but it'll be a way that it can help, and it'll help the economy, and it'll help black, black people all in all. So, which black people will get it? I mean, so this, because that, that was my whole thing, like, okay, now, let's just be honest, we, we've been, we've been mixed up, mm -hmm. we, we've been, I mean, all of that kind of stuff. Same rules should apply. <clears throat> Excuse me. Same rules should apply just as anything else. If you got one drop of black blood in, you black, because that's okay. how they treat you. So, but where does it start and where does it I would say, end? Yeah, well, I mean, how because, would, I mean, you're talking about a whole lot of people if you target And guess a what? Long time and when you don't pay about. and when you don't pay your bills, you get a whole lot of interest. Right. Well, true. But true. like this, now someone who would not get reparations and who would not be eligible would be who? Immigrants. People that immigrated to the US on their own. Barack and, Obama. Huh? His mama was white mm -hmm. and his, his daddy dad was from Kenya. Kenya. Yep. So what we just do is a process of elimination. You may be black in skin color, but right. you were not here. If your family was not here. If your family was not here, then you don't get it. If you can go back and follow where you came from, mm -hmm. then you should be able to get it. Just like the Native Americans have to prove. Yep. Either by, and it's not oral history. They have to have names in the Bible, names in a book some proof mm -hmm. that you should get reparations. Yep. And there since the go. Japanese so government... So, Coach Briscoe. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Coach Briscoe just joined. What's up, Coach? Briscoe, the Japanese got it at 9906. Mm -hmm. that's, the, uh, that's the law, 9906. Okay. So, they had to determine the ones who got interned or the ones who were thrown in. Internment camps? The internment camps in the United States were so stupid is that they thought Japanese and Chinese were all the same. So, t they took 100,000 and put them all in the same internment camp <clears> and said they were all Japanese. Oh. Mm -hmm. God, and so, so the thing is, you know, and that was that was going to be my next question was, um, like like the Indians and like um, Native, Native Americans. Americans, like the Native Americans, like um, um, who else we just got to talking about uh, Japanese. Japanese, Japanese, the Jews, mm -hmm. um, um, all these people, black people, we not were not only mixed up and all this good stuff but some of us were so so many different places so uh, you know families were broken up and sent to different uh uh homes states and states apart so would dna be the only way to do this and and how would we go and find out where your bloodline goes if we don't trust those processes 
You know, right. it has to be a process that says, okay, like for example, I know that I'm black. I don't need to know, quote unquote, if I'm African American. I'm not saying that that's not important, mm -hmm. but I need to know if uh, my great granddaddy, daddy, daddy named Eddie something Johnson Stevens, for example, because Stevens is not a black name. My last name is a white last name, and I learned that my uh, my um, I think my grandfather five times, his last name was changed because of his master. Mm -hmm. So that's how we ended up with the name Stevens. Right. It's okay. So so trust in that history. Is that where we go? Not not just trying to say that we are proven that we are African and that's our ancestry, but proven that my people built this country on their backs. My people were beaten, my people were they were impregnated, they were they were abused. They were raped. Yes, they were raped. Was what I'm talking about. Impregnated, raped, all this good stuff. I'm just saying. Means so it was consensual rape. Well, I mean, well, you know, raped and all this good stuff. So I'm saying, it how was, do we do that? It's it's very, 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 very easy. Very easy. Okay. Absolutely. Because if you want to go that route, all you have to do is look at the taxes. Because slaves were property, <laughs> therefore you had to pay taxes on the slaves, and there you have it. When they when they disbanded and they they did the um 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 what do you call them oh, I forgot the um the where, where they freed the slaves emancipation the emancipation the emancipation proper. Proper. thank you when they did that these people were also you look at all these new taxes that the government started getting all you gotta do is go to the records it's not hard to do. It's very easy to do. Now, with and black we, people, it is easy because we were property. You're right. right. We were cattle, so they, they it was a bill of sale. Yeah, okay. it was a so bill of sale. So all you got to do is do that. And again, if you look at most of our last names, they are not African at all. Absolutely. They're right, mostly right. European. So you track those back, and boom, there you go. There, there you have it. Because even up to just a few, few years ago, they were battling, talking about George Washington didn't have uh, black kids. Right. And right. yeah, he, right. he got, yeah, he, he, he had black kids. And there's a whole stream of his family that are black because he had a slave and yep, there you go. Okay, check this out real quick. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, uh, uh, Denethia says, the most I've found is that Montgomery is an Irish name. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, Marcus Robinson, what's up Marcus? He says, also keep in mind that most black people can only research their lineage back so far because we weren't even considered humans and families were not kept up accurately because of our ancestors were considered property. And so that was my, my another thing too. We, we always talk about how a lot of our history is lost. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, I'm, I'm sure that when Mass and them separated our families, they kept accurate records on who went where and how much they paid for who right. and all this good stuff. Bills of sale. Now I remember my, my grandmother telling me a story and I'm gonna I'm not gonna even tell it, but the long the gist of the story is, is that my my uh great 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 grandfather um had a piece of land or whatever. I'm not gonna even say what the land is, but he was talked out of his land. It was like over seven hundred acres of land that he had um right here in um Frankston, Texas. And a lot of land, or whatever the case is, like I said, I'm not going to say really the location where the land is because I should be a quadrillionaire by now. But anyway, because he couldn't read, he sold the property. They took the property from him. When we went to find those bill of sales, those records, they were gone. Gone. Man, me and my mom, we, we dug, we dug, and we dug, and we was looking for that property. We was trying to find you, where it You was. have to go federal. You can't go state or local. You okay. have to go federal. Well, I was thinking that maybe uh, the the um, that City Hall would have copies on no. Microfitch. No, no. You have to go, because what happens is you have to, all this stuff ends, eventually has to get archived. So you right. can only keep so much stuff on hand at one point in time. However, because every state has to report their earnings and stuff like that to the federal government, you go federal. And it's easy to find. You can trace your lineage, lineage back. All you have to do is start out. They even had it, I can't remember, it's one of them little um, DNA testing sites. Yeah, you can do it on there. 
Yeah. That'll trace back. And it'll show your ancestry and stuff like that. All you got to do is know a couple people's names. Easy peasy. Because, again, you got you got so many things like um, the census. Mm -hmm. You right. got tax returns. You got uh, property taxes. You got all these things that are filed. And they're filed on the state and federal level. Right. So that's, right. that's all you have to do. It's going to take a little research. But, hell, you know, if you want it, do the work. I think Ain't nobody I, gonna hand that to you. I think also reparations should be paid in the land that your that your ancestors own. Mm -hmm. I, I I believe that like whatever land that was taken or land that your family served on, right, you should own a piece. Yep. Right. No matter if it's a piece, if it's a corporate building sitting on it, doesn't matter what's on it at this moment. I think land should be one thing that should be. I mean, you were promised forty this. acres and a mule, and that never happened. Now, they're running scared in my family because we're from a plantation, and plantation is my, has my last name on it. They have an island in South Carolina, and they have a housing, a housing development company. They're running so scared because my cousin came down from D.C. and went down there and started talking to some people. And they're like, well, we own this land outright. He said, we don't want your land. Mm. They're running scared. This is real. And that's why Trump is tripping with the census. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why McConnell was saying, what else do y'all want? We gave y'all a black president. That's what he said. And I wanted that's to say so bad, Mitch, it's not that you gave us a black president because he ain't black. He's Kenyan and white. His mama is white. His mama is white. He's half. You ain't even give us a whole one. I ain't gonna give you a whole Jack. You ain't gonna get a whole uh excuse my friends, you ain't gonna get a whole nigga in the White House. It ain't happening, Jack. Excuse my friends. It ain't happening, Jack. He said it. You ain't putting a whole one in there, Mo. He said it. Ain't happening. That's why they wouldn't let Jesse in there. <laughs> ain't putting a whole one in there, man. In eighty four they said no, not Jesse. Not a whole one. Not a whole one. Ain't and then, you know, can one day we speak about why people don't like Farrakhan? Because they scared of him. I mean, they like, they like, uh, what's his name? They like Trump, but they don't like Farrakhan. And if you listen to Farrakhan and Trump, they, 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 they got the they same message. The they same. got they the same, same message. Different sides of a coin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, Sterno. I mean, you know, and, and I think also, come on, Miss Sunshine, go ahead. <laughs> What are they doing over there? She she in a mood, right? Now you have to just let her be, let her shine and just be bright. <laughs> and all kind of shit. I don't know. She's just trying to be bright, but the leg is. But this is every Saturday. I yeah. know, but you right. can see it the other. When I came in just now from getting my water, she was swaying to the music and there was no music. <laughs> I think she she owns some stuff. She said Luther does Luther. this to her. That's what she said. Yeah, we've been playing all things Luther. Look, That's what we've been doing. Real life. Okay, Ooh. so let's get back back to what race. What time we got? We got eleven thirty four, so we got a few more minutes. Um, um, I think another way that that reparations should be paid. Getting that now, this uh, the little little piece of something said that they should increase social security for black seniors. Mm -hmm. I think for black veterans that their disability should be doubled. I think. World War One veterans, there aren't and anymore. Vietnam <clears throat> veterans, and Korean veterans, mm -hmm. that should be increased because I know that what the Agent Orange and the other things they've done, but it's so hard for the military because they they shoot them kids up with so many different drugs and put them on so many different um yeah, anti serums um, and vaccines. They're guinea pigs. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. that's so difficult. But I mean, reparations serve me because they gave it to the Japanese, they gave it to the Jews, they gave it to the, Maybe they gave it to America. everybody except for black. Yeah. And we, we, if it weren't for free labor, for how many years? Hundreds of years? Mm -hmm. Over 400 years. Free labor. Or free labor. Free labor. <clears throat> free labor. And, and Mo, what do you think about um, if now once they, they do this or whatever the case it is, because you know, it's, you know, a whole lot of, Caucasian people are gonna be upset. Not all Caucasians are bad people, but but you know some of the rednecks they're gonna be a little upset, you know, when when this stuff happens. So how do you think that this is going to affect the movement of racism? How do you think it's gonna affect it? Because me, don't give me reparations if you're not gonna protect me by law. Now I'm not saying that we can't protect ourselves behind behind in the dark shadows because that's what we got to do anyway. I'm saying. 
what laws can you put in place to protect me and protect what you're about to give me and make it so as my heirs can get what you've given me too. So so how you think it's going to affect this 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 racism, this 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 BS that we that is, is continuously growing on a daily basis. Races. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, Thanks, I was going to say, and this is just in general. The lack of financial knowledge in this country. Yeah. Do you think that would be a wise thing? I think there should be some education involved, so that it just doesn't go to waste. Here's here's the funny, and you 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 kind of were headed in the same direction I was, but you're gonna have people that go out and blow their money, just like when we got that little Get the tax refund. You got like, yeah. We got the, and then little, the tax refund gone, and you'd be like, oh, well, we got the little two hundred dollars from Bush when he was in office. Uh huh. People went and did crazy stuff with it, and they just bought out. It's like it's like two hundred dollars, y'all. Right. Two hundred dollars. You know. However. And now you don't spend it. And you ain't right. $200. But guess what though? At that point, at that point, let people do what they want to with their money. You you can you can offer classes about financial, hey, literacy, if literacy and do all that. Fine, you want to take it? You ain't got to. But here you go. Once it's gone, the thing is that you can wipe the slate clean and be like, hey, we paid out for that. So you can't bring it up again. And see, and that's, and that, you said, I mean, I, I was just thinking that, I promise God. You, and that's what folk are going to say. We done paid y'all, now shut the fuck up. No, and here's the thing. That, that's they, what's going to happen, Trump. No, tell but you. then we still have these Holocaust museums. Right? Right or wrong? We, got the Holocaust so we, we, still, we still have these uh, museums about how they turn, um, in turn the Japanese and the Chinese. We still have uh, the Native Americans. No, just because you paid it out, you're right and wrong. That don't mean you forget about it. No. Right. Because mm -hmm. it, the way America is set up right now, I'm sorry. If you look at, and I, I don't like to be political in this, you look at the poorest places in the U.S., all of them are Republican-owned. As far as like politics and stuff like that, they're heavy Republican area. What does that tell you? Because okay. if all these rich people, are these so-called rich people and Republicans, they got all these poor people voting for them. It's ignorance of how to use money I, that I keeps agree. people in a loop. This is where the racism comes from because they see, well, this person got it and people look like me got it, but oh, you know, these, you know, black people over here, they look like this and they can get it, but how come I can't? Mm -hmm. right. But they don't see the work involved. Right. You right. don't see the grind. You don't see the hustle that's involved in getting yourself out of a certain situation. You want to get sit on your butt and just get paid some. Just like people in Section 8 and all that. Yes, there's a need for it. However, there are some people that abuse the system. Exactly. And so if you're going to abuse it, hey, you do what you want to do with your money. But once you get it, sit your ass down and don't say nothing. You can't be a second generation Section 8 person. You can't. You shouldn't be. I mean, first generation, I understand you getting on your feet. But if you second and third, if you got four people living in, if you got four generations living in the projects in the same projects, so wrong. So check you this out. Yourself, so check this out real quick before we go on break. Who, who, who takes a break? Me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so check this out. Uh Denethia says I have a white colleague who argued this point with me. He says that if there is a payout that I too would have to pay it out of my tax dollars also. So and okay. should you make you paying for that trillion dollar war that you done had for the last twenty years mm -hmm. because somebody tried to kill his daddy? That's the only reason we over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought we was over there because because he couldn't pronounce his name. Remember? Because you remember he, he was offended. The first time we went over there to them, what was it, to Saudi Arabia. He come uh, Arabia. No, not Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has always been an ally. Those are their friends. Mm. No, I'm... I'm talking about oh I'm sorry that Iraq the yeah. people yeah. you went over there and you couldn't pronounce that man's name and that's where it all started we didn't have no business over there in the first place you shouldn't you shouldn't went over there it started because they put a hit out on his daddy yeah. and they, they tried to kill his daddy he got mad mm -hmm. so man, you trying to kill my dad and he said that yeah but this, this is wonderful your fellow Texans 
Mm-hmm. We love them, don't we? I was born in Louisiana. And they ain't too much better right now, anyway. Right now, right then? Yeah. I don't just, worry, North Carolina ain't far behind. Out of 50 states, North Carolina 54 and read. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, I shout out to my people in Beaumont, but a, a new poll came out that Beaumont, out of the, the, the most 10, the 10 worst cities in Texas, Beaumont is number nine. Is that because of and, the local plants? No, 10 worst cities. I'm sorry, in crime. They're number nine. And not only that, I saw another poll, no joke, that Beaumont was uh, in in um, the state of Texas. Beaumont is number three on the list as one of the dumbest cities. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. I can tell you who no. followed right behind them. Who? Vider and Orange. Well, that's, recent. that's a trend. <laughs> dumbest, well, dumbest cities. Look it up. <laughs> In Texas. Yeah, put the put the specs on. Yeah, put the specs on. on. Yeah. So while Mo is looking up in Texas. While, while Mo looking at up, back to this this reparations thing. Miss Sunshine, now you was talking about something. Woo! On the phone. Hold up. What? These are the ten dumbest cities in Texas. <laughs> oh, Mo and Family, y'all. Ten dumbest cities in Texas. Wow. <coughs> Box Springs. Box Springs. <laughs> Channel View. Channel, Channel View. View. Are you serious? Far. <coughs> Who? Look, she dying. She dying Number four. Grand Prairie. Oh! oh. 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 Number, number five. Laredo. Wow. Oh, wow. Number six. Garland. What? what? Number seven. Watuga. What? Watuga. Well, that's all right, because they done. <laughs> <laughs> number eight. Alamo. Number oh. nine, Mineral Wells. Number ten, Brownsville. Oh, wow. wow, I didn't expect well, what that. Was what was Beaumont? I just saw something like that the other day. How we determine the dumbest places in the Lone Star State? Percentage of adults with less than a high school degree. Mm. Mineral Wells. Public Will. schools per capita. Mm. Garland. Price. I can see where I can see where Garland had it. Garland has quite a few kids. I can see that one. Wow. Grand Prairie? Yeah. That's a, that's a shock. Population, like for Bulk Springs, population is 23,853. People without a high school degree, 39.6%. Whoa. Jesus Christ. That's, now that's horrible. Oh. Wow. Well, we're not talking about you. I promise to God we're not, but we're just trying to figure out we why you... We're stating facts. Yeah, we're trying I'm to figure just, out what's going on, people. Mo, and who's that? Or who, who are those statistics provided by? Zipia.com. Z-I-P-P-I-A.com. That's wow. interesting, because, you it's know... It's a career expert, so what they try to do is they, based upon when they're trying to locate people for certain jobs... Talent? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, talent. Talent acquisition. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Ooh, wow. Garland. Let me see. Ooh. Well, you know, I grew up in Garland. So, you know, when we moved back from old. Florida, before I moved over to Oak Cliff, I was in Garland. So from fifth to ninth grade, I was in Garland. And, yeah, um, it's, it's interesting. Wow. It's interesting because then I think there was, let me go from this. You had Lakeview, South Garland, Garland, North Garland, Naaman Forest, were all of the high schools. So they had five high schools in Garland that I know of that I can remember. And yeah, it was it was interesting. It was very interesting. Mineral Wells got money. How can Mineral Wells You can have money? Look. They got plenty of money. No. No, 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 but you know what? It's a very, it, very small community. Mm-hmm. And 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 yeah. They named that place. They didn't name that place Minimal Wells because they were dumb. They named that place Mineral Wells because didn't somebody get all out there? Mineral Wells. Yeah, they got Mineral Wells. Didn't somebody get all out there? They have a lot of. They have a lot of Mineral Wells. Spring, okay. Freshwater Springs. Let's let's and go. Well, break. It has a lot to do with because of the like Mineral Wells, seventeen thousand people and forty percent. Well, without number a degree. nine. Yeah. Forty percent without a degree. So what happens is you can make the money. You don't have to have a high school degree to make the money. But that's just their criteria, people versus who finished high school. 
Let's go to break. Thank mm -hmm. you very much, Mo. Real quick, this is gonna be our last break of of the um, show. of the show. <laughs> and, re and real quick, uh, when we come back, we are going to be giving our encouraging words, and we're gonna also give a shout out to our last contest winner, B Marcel Beauty. We're gonna talk about B Marcel, but in the meantime, we want you to listen to the great sounds of going in circles. And hearing now by Luther Vandross, it's all things Luther, and we'll be right back after these songs. You, but you do know there's a African American Museum at the Smithsonian, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. But I want to go to one of New Orleans. But you know what? Here's the thing. This that's is, the one this that's is, on the plantation. What I find frustrating <laughs> is I think a lot of African American tributes and historical monuments it's like it's like the ethnic hair care section in the store it's big and the store is it's big Texas New Orleans I just you know I I got a feeling if they and in some stores they don't even have one <laughs> they, they, they get, you get these reparations, they figure out how they're going to do this, they're going to say, okay, now niggas, y'all shut up. And hell, even now, now Dang. the Hispanic mm -hmm. care center is bigger than the ethnic care. Why is it ethnic? Why can't it just be black, African-American, whatever? I'm still trying to figure out why Kroger got only four shelves for the um, for my kosher foods. Four shelves. I took a picture. Four because shelves. you know how kosher foods are? And then at this time, you, get, you know... But Jewish people go to the certain stores to get, to get their stuff. I know, but still. But my you, you buy your kosher foods at a kosher store. Mm -hmm. I go to an Indian store, an Indian market, for my oh, my curries and masalas and stuff. The table is not. I don't want it to fall because okay. it's not. Well, I'm just letting you know now. I took a picture. I have. I had to see the crow. Feeling like a little more solid. Well, Albertsons, I'm sorry, Albertsons. Oh, Albertsons. Mm -hmm. I ain't been to Albertsons in so long. They don't air Fiesta the, now. The okay, fiesta. That's Fiesta Tom and Albert. But, but see, but Fiesta Tom Tom. Albertsons, is. Albertsons, Tom Thumb, Fiesta is one umbrella corporation. Hey, Charlotte, yes. thank you for watching. Yes. Bill, thank you yes. for watching, man. Thank What's you. What's up, Sandra? Hey, Chandra, how you doing? She, she was down in College Station talking about that heat is hot. Yeah, that heat in College Station is something different. Sweet. That humidity, it's just like breathing in fire. Yeah. You just you breathe in, and all of a sudden, everything is hot inside and out. And, and that's the bad part about College Station, because you get the Houston humidity, but it doesn't cool off at night the same way as Houston. Yeah. No, it just stays hot. Mm -hmm. I am. I don't remember it cooling off in Houston at nighttime at all. Mo, do you? No, remember it just. That? It just. Don't <laughs> well, well, I'm sorry. I was. I was. I was always in North Galveston, so I'm sorry. It ain't never cooled up. Mo, what you do? You walk outside. You got the tub. What happened? before you get in the car? Ooh, what you do? You sweating, ain't you? Sweating. You sweat. Your sweating. back is wet like you ain't never yeah, got. But you know the best thing about living in Houston? That's why I don't look my age. Because of the constant humidity and the, the facials. They got me say, it keep your skin nice keep now. Keep your skin nice. Mm -hmm. Keep your skin nice. Only up here do I have adult acne. Down there, I was fine. <laughs> My sister say, Cleveland weather is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait a minute. Go Grand Prairie. You, you that's Barbara, yeah, you? I'm Grand Prairie? Grand Prairie, that's what Grand I got. Grand Prairie have great no. education out I, there. I have, I have a couple of. Friends they that don't? are teachers. No. What? I mean, what no. am I missing? I have a couple of teachers right. that are teachers. I have a couple of friends that are <laughs> teachers in Grand Prairie. And it's not the students, it's their home lives that keep them from being involved in school. Where they end up dropping out and stuff. Home lives. Yeah, their home lives. So where yeah. parents might lose a job, kids gotta work, stuff like that happens. And yeah, there's a lot Teen of Teen pregnancy. They don't got the health magnet no more. What's the health magnet? Health magnet used the to be the school for the school? pregnant girls. Oh my! Oh yeah, they had the pregnant district, girls school. Most districts, <clears throat> still, pardon me, most districts still have those. But I mean, a lot of times those are full. Really? How many pregnant girls in high school? Well, but you also have to think about those who are of the Catholic. Religion and you know they don't birth control is not an option and 
And the way that they doing the way that they doing these abortion laws now. Look, you know? I'm just trying I'm trying to figure this out. You know, we got to, I'm confused by a whole lot of stuff. I'm confused about these reparations. I'm confused about the abortions because I don't know how they're gonna do it. I'm confused about the presidential candidates because there's too many of them. I'm confused. Well, at this point, it's just listening right now. So I wouldn't get my heart set on anybody right now because they have to meet certain criteria to go on to the next level. So if they don't have, if they don't meet their criteria, they're gonna be weeded out anyway. What they get rid of, Denethia? The, the school the for the pregnant, pregnant girls. Pregnant girls. Did they? Health magnet? You know why? You know what else I think they do? It, when they they get rid of it because they think that by having it, they're only encouraging it. And you know, it's still people, stupid people here in Texas standing outside of Planned Parenthood. Gonna stand out there. They gonna stand. And it was like, it was hot as hell the other day. And I rolled past the Planned Parenthood and I saw some people out there. It was like, that was only like three of them. So I was just like, you you really, in the middle of the Texas heat, really? That's what you want to do with your time? It's crazy, man. I just don't, I don't understand, you know. You know, telling a woman what to do with her body is so wrong. Well, it is I, I also wrong. Think it's it is horrible. Because, you know, to think that every woman that's going to Planned Parenthood is going there specifically for abortion. Yeah. And I tell people that all the time, Planned Parenthood is the best place to go for up. preventative measures and for uh, cervical cancers, reproductive cancers, for those people who can't, or for those women who don't have. Um, Low income, no income? Well, no. People who have jobs. When I, well, when, that too. when I just started working in Houston, I worked starting out entry level, and I could not afford the insurance. Mm -hmm. There was no way I was going to afford my own apartment because I live. I didn't live with my parents. I didn't have that. I lived six states over from my parents, so I wasn't on their. Um, I wasn't on their insurance now. But my goodness, I had to go to Planned Parenthood for well woman checkups, and it's on a sliding scale, so they and look I at your paycheck. So I know, like, this is what you get. So my thing is. Everyone's talking about abortion. That's not what Planned Parenthood does. But that's what they want it to sound like. And that's why now, now you're going to have more women who are going to have reproductive cancers. And you're going to see a spike of increase. Well, you just don't see don't a lot care. more women that are going to be sterile because they're going to be doing at-home abortion. Oh, my. I mean, and, and this is this is one thing that I'm real concerned about. Not just about. sterile, but dead. Hell. You know, yeah. these, these women that's doing these under-the-table abortions and stuff like that, you know, my concern is, my concern is these babies out here being raped. This is my concern. These children who are being violated and they're getting pregnant by these old ass men and they are forcing these babies to have these babies. That to me is cruel. Putting their lives at risk. It is cruel. Risk. You know what? I don't care what nobody here's, here's, here's what most people don't know. That in a place like California, an older man can't have sex with a younger girl under 17, right? Okay. But he can marry her. And if they're married, it's fine. Texas consensual sex really starts at 17. In Texas, right here. Mm -hmm. Consensual sex with an adult, if you are 17 years old, and if I mess with a 17 year old, I'm 41 years old, that is not great. Or sexual assault, or whatever you want to call it, that is consensual sex by this state. It gets worse if you if you're 16 years old and you have sex with a 17 year old. A 17 year old can go, can go down for it. A lot that happens a lot for these so-called people who. That's why when you have to look at the sex registry. You have to look and see, look at the fine print. Was it someone who was 19 was dating a 16 year old and the parents got mad? Right. Hmm. And that's only a three years difference, so when you're 20 and 23, it's not a good, but 19 and 16 is a problem. Well, at 19, you shouldn't be in high school anyway. Well, no, but you still, that you're still in that teen age, you still have those teen friends. Right. And the scary part about that is that you got some girls who's got to stop eating McDonald's because they look like full grown women. Yeah, that And they lying about their age. That there. And they're going to get fake ID. Yeah. Because I know in College Station, which is another reason why I couldn't you know what? I don't want to say city. anything too much about men, but I don't really think that men are checking their IDs. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> checking IDs. Look, 
I fool with people my own age like, or older. They'll be like, can I check a birth certificate? Can I see your driver's license? Can it? Nah, they ain't doing all that. But when you when you are in your you know your late teens, early twenties, you really not you not thinking about that. Stand by, we coming back for break, y'all. I was just say, you. being in the medical field, I see so many young ladies that can't simply read a form. Uh, of education is important. These forms are about them like signing your name uh, that these babies can't read to understand what kind of medication they are on. It's crazy. Oh, right there. Okay, right. Right. Welcome, welcome back. back. Welcome back, y'all. Look, and that right there that you were just saying, um, I'll never forget when I was in Grand Prairie at a store wow. and she was asking me my address and she was like, so you live on such and such doctor? I'm still like, really? Because um, she saw DR. Right. Wow. Real, I, real quick, look, look y'all. <laughs> We appreciate everybody watching the show. Thank you so much for joining us on today. Make sure, you, again, you follow us on all of our social media outlets, and we're not on actual Periscope. Make sure you share this broadcast, like it, give us some hearts, all this good stuff. What's up, Patrick? Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining, Carl. Hey, listen, real quick. Our final business that won a couple of minutes plug on our show is called B. Marcel Beauty. Now, B. Marcel Beauty sent me an email, and I'm going to read this email verbatim because this is what she asked us to do. B. Marcel Beauty is a unique cosmetics brand. It is unique, y'all. It's really good. We carry cruelty-free and vegan products designed for the makeup lover woman on the go and the pro, what's that word? That Mua. Mua. Makeup, makeup artist. artist. I, I know it's more, but I just I want to make sure I said it right. I want to make sure Reading I said it right. is fundamental, Look, y'all. Look, oh, I asked what the damn word was. Before you read that. That's right. I, that fool uh-uh. just said, what is this word? You it's can, not a word. It's make up. It's oh, fuck. No, the word is more. No. No, it's make up. Make up It stands for makeup artist, but you say mua. Okay, see, that's an acronym. That's what that's it's called. Acronym. That's an acronym. But the way that, then look at this. Does this look like an acronym to you, the way that she typed that in there right there? Does oh, it look like an like, acronym? Since she sells cosmetics, she just thought you well, And the pro mua. The pro mua. Makeup artist. But I know, but I'm saying and that. And then parentheses, makeup artist. That's what she That's what she could have did. But maybe that's what she, she did. did. Whatever. That's what she did. We carry eyeshadow, lashes, lipstick, and gloss. More to come. You can visit her on Instagram at b.marcelbeauty. That's that's Marcel with two L's, and also on Facebook, B. Marcel Beauty, and also on her website is uh, www.b. Marcel Beauty. My She has a $25 palette, eye palette that is amazing. Yeah, I, I got it. Yeah, it was, it was like a nice little combination of a whole bunch of colors. See, I'm not a makeup and I don't wear makeup, what? but I like the way stuff looked. The presentation was nice. That's what I appreciate. Nice. The presentation right. was nice. So even for a guy, if you go out and you're like, hey, you want to buy your woman something, and you see it, it's like, oh, that looks nice. That looks like something my woman would buy. But you guys, don't buy your woman makeup unless you consult with one of them women. And then let me so, tell you, let me tell you, also Miss Miss B. Marcel, she used her husband out there to catfish those women to buy that makeup. <laughs> no, she didn't. You know why? She, uh, because you know what his shirt had on it. He sure had on the, uh, the, the, husband Marce- the husband of B. Marcel. That's right. But, but, but you see how tight the shirt was. And you see what she had him standing in the middle where all the women was coming from the candy boutique. That's what you do. Well, women don't care. Some women don't care. Now, you come on now. now we know but you that. know what? But no. Well, there are women out there who don't care. That's why women don't care. But what, what took me was his support for her. Oh, he was out there with her now. Out there. He was yeah. dead out there with her. All husbands support their wives. They should support should. their wives. You know, you have some husbands who are probably jealous of their wives' success. Jealous is all You get know, out. and then you do have some men who don't have the confidence in themselves right. and they hide behind a woman's success and say, oh, 
You know what? Since you want to do that, then you go ahead and do that, and I'll sit back and I'll chill. And you can carry me. And so, Sugar and for Sugar. men like that, I'll say that you're stupid. Sugar and I Sugar. think, and I think that yeah. It's and I, time to do our uh, encouraging words. Oh, I'm words. sorry. And you yeah, can't I'm say sorry. stupid no. when you're trying to do encouraging words. Stupid is what I say. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for our encouraging words for the week. Listen, everybody. If you don't know, now you're about to know. Mesh. Yes, we are about to go on a slight little break. We are tired as it's hell. Tired. And it's vacation time. You know, we got we got some where some places we need to go. We got some things that we need to set up for the show and making sure that when we come back in August, it's gonna be anniversary time, y'all. Yes. Yeah. It's gonna be anniversary time. And listen, we gotta be able to come back and give you guys something even more great and fantastic. So make sure you're watching our Facebook page. We're gonna be doing some event parties and some all good stuff. The Out the Party Radio is gonna be handling our some of our live feeds and stuff like that. If you kept, caught us on last week, uh, our show from last week, the live was played. So make sure you guys continue to follow us, and we'll definitely be in contact with you guys in a little bit. So let's go ahead and start with Mo Swag. Mo Swag, do you have any, any encouraging words on today? I always have an encouraging word for my fellow friend, my friend. I'm scared. Just be yourself, honey, because you're the best. Just be yourself because you're the best. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mo, while you drink your life water. <laughs> Miss Sunshine, you're the next lady in line. What kind of encouragement do you have for us on today? Education is key. Never it's stop true. learning. When you stop learning, that's when you die. Mm. You said that last week. You don't have nothing else. You know mm -hmm. no, she didn't say that last week. week. Okay, week before last. You said that week before last. Week. Well, you know it what? still applies. It's still relevant. Mm -hmm. Education. Reading is fundamental. <laughs> <laughs> I can read, okay? I can read. Just, that's I why I asked you what that word was, so I can say it right. That was a good The day that we stop learning is the day we stop growing is the day that we die. So, learn something new. Yep. Hendrix, what you got, man? It's what, you know, you know we over. We, we 12 over. Yep. So I'm going to just say this and be real, be real quick with it. Your hourglass is your time. Use it wisely. Your hourglass is your time. Use it wisely. And I guess if I have to encourage anybody on today, would be to stay as cool as possible because it is hot as hell. Mm. Okay, then. So listen, everybody, again, check this out. We will return again the first Saturday in August. We'll be right back with some good things for you. Stay tuned because Mash Gas is going on vacation. We'll be back. Again, our website, www.mashthegas.com. Also, make sure you follow us on theafterparty.com. Also, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, and now Periscope. Periscope. Yeah. And on and in the words of Q, which is me, we appreciate that shit. Because we don't know with, who Q is. And we are no, we'll see you guys on next time. God bless. See you in a little bit. Peace. Hey. Last song. Last song. Never too much. Never with, too much. Never too Ross. much. And this is why. I can't with y'all. Okay. Kind of goofy, ain't it? That's because I am sleep deprived. Look. And I'm on my way home to where's the, other, where's the other clock? Oh. It was over. It's right here, yeah, darling. I'll let you stop it. Look, I can't even. Hey, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Make sure you share this. Make sure you like this with your friends and all that good stuff. We'll catch you in a little bit. We'll replay this again on this evening if I'm woke. And that's just the God and the truth. Peace. We're going to be sleeping.